Hi, my name is Nate from natescreenprints.com. I make videos about screen printing at home. If you're going to be screen printing with any regularity, you're going to want a reliable light source you can use to accurately expose your screens. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a setup of the grow light sold at easyscreenprint.com. The link will be in the description. This is the grow light. Uh, the box it came in, it also came with instructions. These metal brackets used for making a stand and it also came with two fluorescent bulbs shown here. This grow light was obviously used um, to expose plants but since you want to expose your screens to natural light, these fluorescent lightings are going to work perfect for exposing your screens. Alright, now that I showed you everything that came with this kit that you can get from Easy Screen Print, I'm going to show you how to assemble everything. Here's the directions for assembling the stand. It's incredibly easy. Um, you're just going to take these two long brackets, pour everything else out, These L-shaped pieces are going to be the feet of your stand. I'm attaching the rubber things to the feet. Next you're going to take two pieces of the feet and put it inside the, uh, the U-shaped metal bracket and then line up the hole and then put a screw through that hole and then it comes with a nut and you'll screw it on the other side of the screw. In order to keep it tight, make sure it's completely tight, I used uh, a wrench and then a screwdriver. So I'm holding the nut with the wrench or actually it's a pair of pliers, and I'm using the screwdriver on the other side to make it tight, and that way the feet don't move. Next, I'm going to remove the light fixture from the box it came in, and attach it to our metal brackets. So you can see inside the box we have a light fixture and then it also came with these hooks and chains which we were not going to use. You can use it to suspend this lighting from the ceiling. But since we have our brackets and we're going to have it set up to stand up, we're not going to need those. So to attach the, uh, the feet, this is really easy. You can see Hold we have this here where we're going to place the tree nut through and it's going to hold the brackets in place. Alright, so you can see on one side I'm going to hold this fastener in place over the hole. Line up my bracket in front of the hole. And then put the tree nut through the slit in the stand. So now I'm screwing the tree nut into that bracket on the other side. And it's going to hold that stand in place. And you can see because that metal bracket is a U-shape, I'm going to be able to adjust the height of this uh, light stand. Alright, now that I've got one side done, I'm going to turn it around and do the other. So again, I have this bracket, or if, that fastener. I'm going to hold it on the side, line up the stand. You can see the gap in between. I'm putting that over the hole. And then I'm putting the tree nut through the slit into the hole and tightening it up.
and you can see you can adjust the height. I'm, I'm putting about halfway down. And the next step is to put the bulbs in. is really easy. You just line up those two prongs into the hole and then once the full side has the prongs in you're just going to twist the, the light and it snaps right into place. Once you plug it in then you've got your light source and you can use it to expose your easy screen print sheets in the, the exposure board or you can expose your speedball screen under it as well and now you've got a reliable source and once you test this once you can do a test and figure out how long it's going to take to expose your emulsion and then turn it off and then you've got a light source you can use consistently <laughs>